Hey guys, welcome to another simple tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be learning a typographic technique with which we use an image or landscape and just overlay a text over there highlighting certain features. So you can still make out the image but we've got them filled with characters of text instead. We were going for something roughly like this, we'll be ending up with something like this in the end. Uh, so let's just get started. Uh, let's just delete these so we've got a clear mind as to what we're going to accomplish. So I'll be using this image here and um, I got this off Flickr and the link is in the description box below so that you can try it out for yourself first with a sample image and see if the results come out the same. First things first, go to select, color range, go down to shadows, press OK, then we'll just do Command C or Control C for Windows. I'll be using I'll be saying Command a lot instead of Control, so just keep that in mind. So Command C, then Command J. So as you can see, we put the shadows onto a new layer. Click back onto the layer of the girl. Go to Select Color Range. And this time we're going to do mid tones. Press OK, and again Command C, Command J. So again that goes onto a new layer. Now we can get rid of the visibility of the original go and you can see that the features have already been highlighted now with layer 3 selected just go to edit fill and we'll do that with 50% grey and make sure that the opacity is 100 blending mode normal and preserve transparency is on because we don't want it to be filled with any whites or greys in the background press OK and then layer 2 we do this similar thing so edit fill but this time we fill it with black and press OK. Now as you can see the highlight it, it's highlighted some of the features a lot more and uh, we could just merge these layers down so right click on layer 2 then click merge down and uh, now on to the next step which is the actual text itself now we'll be making a an actual brush for the text so what we'll do is we'll make a new canvas a new document of roughly the same size, so 579869 is the document size in this case. Press OK, we'll just get the text tool out. And just fill the whole thing. And I already had some uh, words already copied to the clipboard, so I'm just going to paste that down here. Oh no, I don't actually. Let me just quickly go select that again. and that's been pasted down there. Okay, just make sure that is actually black. It's okay, and we'll just get rid of that blank bit at the top there. Make the text a tad bit smaller, maybe 10, so you get a lot more detail. The words, and see a couple of blank spaces there as well. We'll just uh, copy this again just to fill up the whole space. So, Command C, and then we'll just paste it once more. All right. So now that that's done, we'll just command and click on the text tool itself there, or on the uh, thumbnail. Uh, control and click, obviously for Windows. So you see all the text is now selected. Just go to File. Oh, sorry, edit, define brush preset, and we'll call it text layer. Okay, we can head back to this layer now. And we'll make one new layer first. And we'll fill that with white. And then we'll just deselect the visibility of that and create a new layer on top of that. And we'll just go back to the default colors so black foreground white as background color. Now we'll get our brush tool now and just select the brush we just created. As you can see it fits all across the image in this case. Just had to click once and there you go it's all covered. You can click more than once uh, to make it a bit more refined and more detailed but I think it looks a bit 
tacky of sorts if you see text overlaying the other. Now, what we'll be doing next is just going onto this layer here, back to the mid tones and shadows that we merged earlier. Command and click on the layer thumbnail to select it all. Then go to Edit, Copy, go back to Layer 5, and then just click the Add Layer Mask button there at the bottom of the layers. And there you go, so it's already pasted on, and you can see, let's just get rid of that brush, you can see that the text has already filled in all of the uh, the highlights of the image used originally. And we'll just get rid of the uh, girl there, and this time we'll select the white image. So you can see what it's done, done there, quite clearly. Um, we'll add a bit of colour this time, so we'll just double click, well make sure you click back onto that thumbnail first, then double click the layer. Let's do a gradient overlay, and we'll just use something a bit colourful, something quick. Yeah, that works. Uh, you can obviously fidget around and use, choose your own colours, but we'll just press OK this time. Press OK again, and so we already have a gradient overlay. Now. You can actually make some of the features a bit darker so that you can see the text a bit more clearly. So we'll get a brush to choose a nice soft brush. Obviously not at 864 pixels, but a smaller size. Around 40 pixels would be okay. And then we'll change the opacity down to around 30, 28%. And now you just have to run over some of the features that you want to come up a bit more. You can see I've got the eyes coming out and the nose. And there we have it. So we can obviously play around a lot with the brush. I've just messed around it, as I quickly shown you. And you can also change the blending mode of the gray overlay and change the uh, white background layer we have to other colors, whether it suits you or not. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I look forward to seeing you soon again, maybe in a couple of months. I'm a bit lazy. Bye bye.